me like Hello my favorite Americans from all over the world. I am Sarah from 190 today. Welcome. Welcome today. Today I will be showing you a really cool parlor trick. I learned this I learned this technique from Skippy6 Gaming. I saw him make this on his channel and I loved it so much I played with it for over an hour or two and I have changed it somewhat just a little bit just a little bit of a seraphim touch instead of lava you can see I'm using water that's the whole no that's not the only difference okay the, the difference though is when I break this not only will those guys fall into the water they will get hit with ready arrows look at that guys how cool is that so when they fall into the water, they get hit with arrows and they die instantaneously. I'm pretty happy with this compilation. I like the way I've done it. I like the presentation, how I put it together. It's 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 amazing. So let's get building, shall we? Let me show you how this works first. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So let me show you first. Actually, have a break. Have okay, guys. <laughs> Design actually looks like factionally behind the scenes. And you can see it's very simple design. It is very unique, simply, simplistic design. And I'm gonna put the mobs here and you can see they fall down and get hit with the arrows when I hit it. The light actually goes off as well, which I think is a very cool technique. The light is just a simple glow. It's actually a lamp. It's, it's something. And it goes off every time the dispenser is empty. Now you got to keep the dispenser full of carts. It actually will replace the carts on its own. Okay, so you don't have to press a button or anything like that. So once you hit the cart, it will just come back. These are the things you're going to need. I hope you got a notepad and pen. We need a water bucket. We need four dispensers or maybe just three. We need one lamp. We need about that many, that many, that many, this many redstone pieces and a cart. I'm sorry. And we also need an activator rail, Darth Vader rail and two trap doors. Okay, let's pick all this stuff up. I don't know what I've got. Okay, we've got two hoppers as well, guys. Eight repeaters, one repetitor. I mean, one comparator. Yeah, maybe in one more year I'll be good at this. Okay, so these are the things we're gonna need. The need with things we're gonna do with these things are amazing. So we also have a redstone block as well and a sticky piston. I hope that notepad came in handy. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. Okay, the first thing you want to do is build six pieces of block of choice in a wall type environment so that you're able to stick upon though a little bit of a dispenser pointing up like this. Now, that's the main technique right here, guys. It's a secret to the method of getting your carts replenished without having to press a button. So what you want to do now is get out another block of choice, another block of choice, and another one bites a block of choice. And then you want to put uh, two repeaters facing into the side of the dispenser on four or three ticks each. The maximum is best for a bit of time delay. Then you want a repeater facing out from the dispenser behind it on no ticks. Actually, you want a comparator, guys, and a block of choice. So you can, <laughs> you need a repeater. And another one bites a block of choice. On no ticks, that's it guys, how simple is that, okay? Three repeaters. Wow, I'm out of practice. I've been live streaming all week guys, it's thrown me out, it's totally done that. Okay, so now I have a, an activator rail on top of the dispenser by crouch placing and now I can simply put my cart on top and as you can see, it will light all this stuff up, even the lamp on the top and the repeater here, see guy. So, uh, my nose is blocked. Hold on, guys. <laughs> and another one bites a block of choice. And another one bites a block of choice. Okay, now we're just going to build out just a little bit. Okay, I'm actually redoing this a little different to what I just showed you. I want it a little bit more compact even now. So I don't know what I'm doing. So I've just got a few blocks out with a sticky piston. Uh, I'm going to have a hopper timer right here one block away from that sticky piston. So that's basically two hoppers placed in into each other by, guess what, crouch placing and a redstone block on that sticky piston. And you're about 85% done. Don't 
forget to smash that like button, or I'll smash you. And another one bites a block of choice. And leave a subscribe comment of some... of sort. Choice. Okay, so I'm just putting a, compar a comparator facing out with a repeater on no ticks. Okay, so we can drag the power out from that timer when it's activated by that piston. Okay, so... Basically, this is going to activate the arrows, the arrow system. Okay, if you do not want an arrow system and you just want to use lava, you don't need to worry about this whole section here. But anyway, from this point here, you want to drag that redstone out to your sticky piston so it will activate the hopper timer. Now you want to throw a block of choice into the hopper timer to time a hopper it up. And now you're ready to go, Flo. So now what we want to do is come around here to this repeater and just simply bring some redstone dust into a repeater like this, into these blocks here. These blocks here represent our dispensers facing up, which will have the arrows in them, okay? So here's a little trick. So you don't have to use four dispensers. You can just use two for the same effect. What you want to do is have a block here, block here, 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 here. And instead of four dispensers pointing up, I'm only going to use two in a diagonal nature like that and I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a repeater into this block here and that actually will activate that do you see what I mean like okay so that repeater is going into the block Seraphim's getting tired now don't forget to smash that like button he already said it do it again no don't do it twice because then it will be a, yeah it wouldn't count would it but you can see that that dispenser is activating that all the way past that block so that's basically it very well done Seraphim nice Nice work, Skippy, as well. I, I really like this. I think this is one of the coolest builds. It's definitely a, a, a very fun build. I like fun builds. I like fun. I like to have fun. Fun, I like. Okay, so now we're nearly there, guys. You just want to basically... You can actually, factually, make this higher or lower. I'm going to do about this higher. But you can have it all the way up to the sky if you're clever enough, but... I'm not. So we have the trapdoors <coughs> into these blocks here, and we have a block here and here and here, and we basically just want to get a charge into the back of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two repeaters facing into those blocks, and I'm going to put a... Yeah, I'm going to get some redstone, and I'm just basically going to connect those two red uh, repeaters together in one go. I think that's right. Okay, so I'm going to put a block there to test it out, break the cart, Okay, it didn't work. Okay, guys, these repeaters here are not fitting. It's not fitting, guys. It's just not happening. It's not going in. So I'm going to have to move this whole contraption forward one block. Let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so basically I want this charge to come up here to activate these sticky pistons. Now, I realize that's probably not the best way to go about it. So I'm going to reconfigure this just a little bit because that redstone's actually connecting to this redstone and that's a big problem that's not what I want to happen so I'm gonna put a block there for now to block that so many blocks uh, there's something wrong here let me just think <clears throat> all right so I'm gonna put a block there and I've blocked that off okay there's still a charge there. let's break that don't know why that's happening let it retract we're gonna retract it put a bit of redstone dust back and that should be I think that's it guys let's test it out so put a cart down here on the activator rail, please. And we're going to break it again. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Alright. Okay, so... Shaka Blair, guys. Shaka Blair. Okay, so... Yeah, I apologize for this. This is the worst video I've ever made. Um, please hit the dislike button. Uh, give me some motivation. So anyway, I've retracted it just a tad like this. Um, it, as you can see, it's not actually working the way I thought it would see. It's not activating the, these repeaters when it pulls back. And I do believe it's actually because it's too close to the piston. And therefore, I'm going to have to move this dispenser forward. Now, this is not hard, guys. Trust me. Just make it opposite. Watch this. So put a... Put a Put a bit of grass down uh, right there and put a grass down there like that. So basically I'm just going to take this dispenser and bring it forward one here. And then I'm going to fill this up here with dirt and this will be my wall instead of over there. So let's just pull... We're going to build the wall up here guys. Thanks for sticking around and bearing with me guys. 
kind of changing it as I go. This is probably not the best idea, but I had to do it because I found a much better way just now. Okay, so I have these two um, repeaters facing into that one block. Now you can see here I have that one connection to that redstone block. Okay, that's perfect. That should work, guys. That's what I was trying to tell you. That's what I was trying to tell you, guys. Okay, so now all you want to do is put a trap door on both sides there. And now when I do this, it should work. So let's test it out, shall we? Okay, looks good. So I'm going to break this away. It didn't work. What? Oh, okay, guys, I get it. All right, so just break that block and put a redstone dust right there. Now it shall work, guys. I'm pretty sure that's it. So put that there like this and let it retract. It's not going to retract right away because it's now connecting with this. So that's a problem. So we're going to have to remove this, and that's very easy. Just break that and break that and that. And that is literally it. That's it, guys. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was trying to say earlier again. Alright, so now when I break the card, uh, as you can see, I'm having a bit of difficulty in this tutorial, but bear with me, we'll do this. You know why that's happening? Because this dispenser needs to be full of minecarts. Now it can replace it can replace itself when it's broken. Resetting itself instantaneously. Alright, so now all you want to do is get your bucket of water and fill up your water gap. Add some arrows into your dispensers and your gap of water shall be complete. Okay. Alright, I'm... I'm happy with that. There you go. I'm okay with this. Now, all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm just making sure I'm going to move that repeater over one block as well. So it all came over just one block. Now we're cooking with fire, guys. I mean, this is going to work. I promise. I promise. I hope this is going to work, because if it's not going to work, it will not be uploading right now. So if you're watching this video, then it worked. There we go. All right, that is awesome. All right, this is even more compact than the one I showed you in the beginning, hence why the mucking around. Okay, so what you want to do now, guys, you can actually cover it up any way you desire, any type of fabric. You can fabricate it in any way. You can use any persona while doing it. Have any idea, any artistic expression is advocated, guys. It's definitely related. And Seraphim does it like this. He doesn't know what he's doing. Seraphim just does. Okay, you can use glass as well. I saw Skippy using glass. I actually think that did look better. Skippy's looked a lot better than that. And the crappy one over there. That all you, that you guys made. This is my one that no one made, except for me. I am Seraphim190, 190 now. I'm so impressed of my age. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I ran out of medication, so I probably won't see you guys tomorrow. If I get medication, I'll see you guys tomorrow.